Hi daddies, dad buds, daddy G here. So our second devotion for this week, today is Wednesday. So before we start our workout, we will first do our, our devotion. So here it is. I'm gonna read from Psalm 103 verses 1 to 5. Psalm of David. In ESB, it says here, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Then last verse, verse 5, Who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Wow! Ganda nung Psalm ni David na to. It, uh, Psalm of Praise, I think, dahil from the start pa lang, talagang ang author ng mouth ni David is to bless the Lord, to praise God. And he remembered that God is really uh, giving us many blessings. What David called um, benefits. Diba? Yung bodily training, just like our devotion last time, it has many benefits. But if we have the right standing before God, we have the right relationship with God, God has many blessings for us. There are many benefits pagkasama natin siya sa buhay natin. Inumerate ni David sa verse 3, He forgives all our iniquities. Of course, we all have fallen short from the glory of God. So we all have sinned against Him. So He forgives us from all our sins, from all our unrighteousness. Diba sabi din sa 1 John 1, 9? If we confess our sin towards Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us from all our sins, from all our iniquities. So let us ask for forgiveness from all of our sins. So every day, unknowingly, nakakasala tayo. So let's ask for forgiveness for everything that we've done wrong. And then next, He said here, Who redeems your life from the pit? Of course, we are all saved by God to the work of Jesus Christ. What He has done on the cross, diba? He saved us from the punishment of our sins from hell. So He saved us from death, in spiritual death. So that's the greatest benefit I think that God gave us. He redeemed us through His Son Jesus Christ, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. So ganun tayo kamahal Lord eh. Binigay niya yung only begotten Son, si Jesus Christ for us to be saved, for us to be redeemed. And then verse 5, Who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. May we find uh, the satisfaction from Him, not from anyone else, not from anything else. Diyan nag nagsisimula din yung scene. We find satisfaction from, from someone, something, diba? But if we find our ultimate satisfaction in God, um, everything else will, ano, will be uh, minimized or parang of uh, little value because we are already satisfied with God. We are already satisfied in Him. So, we cannot ask for more uh, yung mga bagay sa mundong ito. Dahil na alam natin na we are filled na with His love. Everything that we are longing for, we already found in Him. So, we will not find satisfaction anymore to other things. So, that's our um, goal. And that's my prayer for you guys. Find in your purpose and in your meaning in life through God. Find satisfaction only through Him. By reading the Bible, by knowing Him more and more. So, God has many plans for you guys. For you and me. We just, we just need to... Uh, focus to behold Him. You can ask the Bible to focus on Him, to listen to Him, to know Him. You know, sabi din niya sa Bible, seek first His kingdom, Matthew six thirty three, the Bible, and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you, will be added to you as well. So if we seek Him first, if we prioritize Him everything that we could ever ask and we could ever hope in this life uh, everything else na uh, we are praying for we are believing God will give it to us things, all the things that we are asking it will be given to us as well basta i-prioritize natin siya i-seek natin siya first and foremost 
So yun, that's my prayer for you guys. This is our second devotion for this week. So I hope you are enjoying this, yung devotion. After that, yung workout. So that's it. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you for the viewers, Lord, here in that but I pray, Lord God, that you um, enable us with your Holy Spirit to really um, absorb, Lord God, the word, your word from the Bible. Lord, in this mini devotion. I pray, Lord, that, Lord, it will really pierce our hearts, our souls, our bone marrows, everything, Lord God, that is within us. May it really overflow, Lord God, and may we put it into action, Lord God, and may it sanctify us, it change us, Lord God, how we live our lives, how we view things, and we really take seriously, Lord God, our relationship with you. We pray, Lord God, that may we uh, honor you, may we prioritize you in everything that we do, Lord God. Start of the week, Lord God, in seeking you, make yourself known, Lord God, more and more. Bless each and every viewer, Lord, protect them, give them favor. Continue, Lord God, to meet them, be with them. We praise you for today, we love you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. God bless. And Alright, after this, I'll show you the workout that I'm gonna do. Thank you guys. Continue to subscribe, to share, to like, to hit the notification bell there right down below. And thank you again for the 2,000 subscribers of Dad Bads. And more subscribers to come. Yes. Thank you Lord God for the viewers. Thank you guys. See you. God bless. Daddy here. Dad Bads.